Namaste. Dear learner, in this session, we are going to discuss how to add an educational resource into Genomeo Moodle course. Learning outcomes. At the end of this session, the learners will be able to add folder, file, URL, pages, etc. educational resources into Genomeo course. File. File is a used as a educational resource or a course resource is any format that is in MS Word format, PowerPoint presentation format or PDF format. The uploaded file will be displayed within a Genomeo course interface or student has to download it in order to read the reading material. This file option is used by teacher to share his presentation given in the class. So just open the Genomeo site and log in into it. You will able to find the site home tab under the dashboard available at left hand side. Just click on it. So you will get the list of available courses. So just click on the name of this course. So you will get entry into the course. Here within the course we are not able to see the add tab to add the educational resources. So first you have to click on the setting gear available in front of the course name. So just click on it. You will get this pop up window. So just select or click turn editing on. Once you click here, you will get the edit options as well as add an activity or resource. If you want to add a resource under the topic April 20, then click on this tab available under the topic April 20. So just click on add an activity or resource. You will get this pop up window. So just search the file option. Just scroll down. So file option is here. Just click on the file, then scroll down and click on add. So adding a new file window will appear. So just provide a name, description if you want and then select a file. You can upload a file by using two options. You can drag and drop files in this window or you can use the attachment options available at the top of this select file. So just click on add, you will get here, click on choose file, select a file and click on open. If you want to change the name of file, you can write here and then click on upload this file. So uploading is on here, your uploading file is displayed. There are some other options are available, but we will come this in later. After completion of this. Just click on save and return to course. So here uploaded file are displayed. So by this way we can upload a n number of files within a topics. Next is folder. This folder is used to display a number of related files inside a single folder. We, if we are added a number of files in a single folder it will reduce the scrolling on the course page. Empty folder should be created and number of files has to upload it into it. This folder may be used for a series of files on a one topic. So for a topic you can upload a number of files in a one folder instead of adding differently. So just click on add an activity or resource tab then find out the folder options, select it and click on add. You will be getting this window, then give the name to the folder and description and then scroll down to find out the upload the file options that is contents. Here also you can upload either by drag and drop method or attachment method. So just click on files, then click on choose file, choose a file, give the names and upload this file. 
So one file is added, repeat the same process in order to add number of files. So click on file tab, choose file tab, then select a attachment, then upload it, then it will come here likewise. So I, I have uploaded a two files under a one folder and then I will scroll down. Then restrict access. So access restriction can be set by the admin user. So for that just click on add restriction. There are five types of restriction you can set either activity completion or date, grade, user profile or restriction set. Activity completion if you set so students has to require to complete the certain activity. So you have to set the criteria. If you click on active activity completion then choose which activity has to complete before accessing this folder. So already we have added one file that is creation of Moodle. So we will select it and then we will move further for activity completion. Activity completion is very important in order to tracking the progress of students. So just set the activity completion criteria. By clicking here you are able to see there are three criteria. So as per your course requirement you can select a proper option. Here I will select show activity as complete when conditions are met and condition is what? Student must view this activity to complete it. So when students viewed this activity then only this activity completion get completed. After doing this setting go to the save and return to course tab available at the bottom and click on it to save the settings. So here we have created the WordPress website folder and here restriction is given that is this folder is not available unless the activity of creation of Moodle is marked completed. So in front of this uh, two activities we are getting a square box and ticket means it is completed. So activity completion can be tracked by using this square box in front of this activity. So just click on it and to find out how many files are uploaded. So once the students click there they will get entry into the folder and they will able to find different files under folder. Next is the page. The page module enables a teacher to create a web page resource using a text editor. The page can display text, image, sound, video, web links and embedded codes such as Google Forms. Page may be used to present summary of course syllabus or to embed several videos or audio files together with some explanatory text. So instead of uploading the documents or files you can use this page, page options because page has an advantage over the file because the resource is being more accessible in page format rather than document format. Most of the times the students or participants are exploring the course on mobile or smartphones that times it's very difficult to download each and every file. So in order to give in document type just copy page, copy the text into the text editor in page options so directly students can able to read the content of syllabus within the course only. So it is very easier to update. So for addition of page just repeat the same process that is click on add an activity or resource tab then try to find out the page options under the resources and then click on add. You will be here then provide the name and description and just scroll down to find out the content that is page content. I have written the page content and then click on restriction access then I will select now date. So you can also give a restriction to access the particular file page or URL by setting the dates. So I will set the date 24th April at 12 pm. So before that this folder this page is not available for the students. Then set the activation completion criteria and lastly click on save and return to course. So here the page is added. 
if you click on it you will be able to see the directly the content of that particular page so student need not to be download the content he will be able to read the content within the course itself next resource is url it will be used to provide a web link as a educational resource there are many educational resources are available freely online such as documents files images videos can be linked within this url this url can be used separately or you can able to add url in any other resources for example you can add url in file also in page also or in folder also so you can able to add url separately or in other resources also through the text editor so for that purpose repeat the same process first select the add an activity or resource tab available under the topic click on it then find out the url click on it then click on add a tab so you will be here adding a new url so just provide the name of url and provide a web address or link of your content so i have already copy and paste the url then scroll down set the restriction access and activity completion criteria and then click on save and return to course tab so your url get saved so next is how to add url in a folder or file it is the same process so just click on add an activity or resource find the folder click it and then click on add then give the name to the folders under the description box you can give the description or keep as a blank so this is a text editor it has different tabs some of the tabs you are familiar by using document files now this is a link you can create a link by using this tab or you can delink by using this tab next tab is insert image tab next this is a, you can able to add a video url by using this tab if you want to instruct the students you can also record your audio by using this tab or you can record your video by using this tab and last tab is a file manager by using this tab you can also upload a files here also so by using all these tabs you may use one of the tab to add url into your junomio course so here we will choose this insert or edit an audio or video file so once you click on this tab you will be here so just provide your video url by choosing the url from youtube so just go to the youtube select your video and then click on share tab you will get a url of that particular youtube video then click on copy come to your junomio course and paste that link into this source url tab you can give a name to that particular url that i have given and after completion of all these just click on insert media so media is inserted then scroll down do the settings as, as per your requirement and then click save and return to course so here within a folder you can able to insert a video that is url so url may be inserted into file folder page so or you may be add a url separately also so so far we have discussed how to add a folder file url page video as a educational resources in our junomio course in next session we will discuss how to add quiz into junomio course thank you very much for listening patiently